A nice painting? No, a region of the universe unveiled by the Herschel Space Observatory. A star-forming region RCW120 that would have been impossible to see before 2009. But now with Herschel brought into space by Ariane, we can see what no telescope has ever seen before. A year after its launch, it's time to look at the first results of the far infrared astronomy of the largest astronomical telescope ever launched. On the 14th of May, it is one year since we launched Herschel. Now, in this year, we have made the observatory operational and we have started to do the science that we will continue doing uh, for as long as the, the observatory will work. After years of research, building and preparation, Herschel is now operating in space. But there is a difference between preparing and testing it on Earth and operating it in space. With all its three instruments, Hi-Fi, Pax and Spire now working at full speed, Herschel is making observations for 21 hours every day, before sending them back to Earth in the three remaining hours. Data is flowing in that reveals the earliest stages of star formation, giving us a picture of the abundance of water in the Milky Way and showing us the galaxies in our universe that give birth to new stars. We have done observations with some instruments since end of last year and some of the observing modes we have only done the last measure or the first measurements like last week um, and so we are we now have good data in all kinds of ways so in certain respects people are already counting how many new stars which we have never seen before and, and this type of thing whereas in other areas we're just starting now this is still very early days for Herschel one of the people interpreting the observations of Herschel is Annie Zavagno of the Laboratory of Astrophysics of Marseille. She's researching the process of star formation. For this, Herschel's data proves to be a valuable asset because they can look at new infrared wavelengths, therefore seeing new light emitted by star-forming regions. This is what Herschel gave us, this new view of star formation in the surrounding of this ionized region. And we are seeing a lot of red objects that are new stars in the way of forming. So they are really new and they were, they were not known before. They were never observed. And we received the first images at the beginning of October uh, and it was really uh, fantastic. Yeah. We are really happy to have new things and to understand, trying to understand, because we are making a new step towards our understanding of massive star formation. So the idea is that Herschel can reveal this population of highly embedded stars that are formed in a gas and dust cocoon, but that are not visible at optical wavelength, for example. So we need Herschel to detect all this population of very young stars. Like Dr. Zavagno, numerous scientists all over the world are interpreting the data gathered by Herschel. And like the scientist William Herschel, who discovered the existence of the invisible infrared light back in 1800, the Herschel Space Observatory will now show the world things never seen before, to expand our knowledge of the formation and evolution of galaxies and stars.